Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Simone Jardim coming to you uh, live from uh, Bonita Springs, uh, the YMCA here. We have a beautiful venue with eight courts. And uh, Carl Schmitz with Pro Pickleball is going to be bringing some matches, a lot of the metal matches, uh, either live or recorded. And then we're going to post it online for you to watch. I hope you guys enjoy it. We have a lot of talent here. It's exciting times in beautiful, sunny Florida. For those of you that just might be joining in now, we are here live from the Florida Grand Slam Pickleball Tournament here in Bonita Springs, Florida at the Bonita Springs YMCA, home of the Peak Performance Pickleball Academy. You guys might have heard of it because it's run by Chad Edwards and Simone Jardine. Speaking of Simone, she's actually right now getting warmed up for the gold medal match here. Her and her partner, Corinne Carr, are going to be taking on Anna Lee and Lee Waters, a mother and daughter duo, Lee Waters. Um, this has been a pretty, pretty impressive day for both teams that they have gone through. Um, you can definitely see that Simone and Corinne were able to stay within the upper bracket. Had some really, uh, really tough competitions here. Uh, you know, the last one, uh, they were able to take out Andrea Coop, Maggie Ruminci, 11 to nine both games, very, very close games. And the Waters ended up coming up through the lower bracket. Um, we've seen some awesome play from them here as well today. And uh, last time when they took on Maggie and Andrea, they came out strong, real strong. So I'm wondering how they're gonna come out today. And uh, this is going to be, you know, a, 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 an incredible match all around. The last time that they met up, uh, Simone and Karim were actually able to win 11 to four and 11 to two, um, or no, 11 to six, and then 5-11 they lost, and then 11 to five. So they went to uh, they went to three matches, and they were very close. And what I a recap by Eddie. And we uh, building the anticipation for this. It should be a good one. Absolutely. Tap and paddles, nice sportsmanship. I'm excited, Josh. This is going to be a really, really good match. I think it will be. Probably of the matches we've seen today, this is one of the top billers. For sure. You guys can see there's a quite a collection of spectators on the court right next to where the championship court is here right now. Trying to stay out of the sun as much as possible while get up and close to the action. Wow. Yeah, good communication. Simone went for a lot there and they had some good communication. Great roll by Simone. On the board quick. 102. The waters are coming out strong. Yeah, great hands. We're going to see a lot of that. Going to see a lot of great hands. Looks 
that's quite the fan following here. Yeah, I believe she is from the East Coast in Florida, um, near Del Rey. So, not too far, just a cross state trek. Corinne, it was amazing work to get back into that point. Yeah, so good by Corinne there. Just taking all the pace off of that first one, making them hit a, up on the ball from below the level of the net. And they just couldn't pull it off. She read that one right. Getting the side out. Zero, five, one. It's gonna be go time here. Yeah, great placement there. Really good placement. Simone and a lead bringing the fire it's interesting Simone and Corinne have the power game and the drive game to match these two it's probably a little bit better matchup than it was for Andrea and Maggie um, Simone and them can be versatile they can play a little bit of a slower game or the hard game but um, it's interesting to see how the waters make you play how they want to play they want to make you to play the drive and the hard game even though the more experienced and resume and on paper the the better squad is um, being forced to adapt Six, here we go. And then now we're dinking. Let's see if they can keep this going and put the pressure on the waters. I'm thinking they're dinking. It's looking good right now, but yep. 
I think that that's what you're gonna do for two reasons. One is that it takes the waters away from the game that they want to play, but it also, when you're driving every other shot, you get into a pretty good rhythm with those ground strokes, and this will sort of change it up just a bit if you can get them to hit those dinks. So get that good drop in, and now you're dinking. And this is what you're starting to see. Yeah. They, they want to be swinging. I mean, both Annalie and Lee can play the soft game, but I wouldn't say it's their preferred game. So they'll just make them think about a few more points. Yep, and now it's working. Annalie had missed a couple forehand cross courts, and so he said she took that directly on to Corinne and then didn't pay off. She was able to take it out of the air. So we'll see how this plays out. We've got a quick timeout. Yeah, it definitely seemed like when Simone and Corinne were able to play their game, their way, give themselves the advantage. That's when they started to get points. That's when they started to get energy. That's when they started to get into those dink rallies. Um, and I believe that if they are going to win, it's going to be because of that. Yeah, and I mean, they can bring it up and, and speed it up, and I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they, now they've gotten a couple points, they, they go back to that, but it'll be that versatility, mixing it up, not giving them the same look every time. All right, four, six, one. Oh, a little miscommunication, but they're staying alive and puts too much on it. Five, six, and they're a three-man team. They're playing with Mo, momentum. Apologize for the jokes. Eddie is feeding them to me, and a few are a bit corny. So <laughs> if they aren't landing, blame Eddie. I am just a messenger. We are here at 562. Good deep serve. Good third. Making her take it out of the air below the level of the net. Yeah, good one too. Great reset by Anna Lee. Good resets. Good dinks. Great block. Wow. Oh my lord. What a point. So much for home court advantage. If Simone had hit that, that would have rolled over, but it does not extend to your partner. Yeah, apparently it just stays with, with her, and that's it. Good rip, good push. Yep. And you'll see out on that side, Corinne is much more comfortable with that forehand dink. And she can get away with it because she's got a good forehand dink. And Simone can cover the middle with the backhand. Yep, right down the middle. Good rip. Side out. We're 5 6 1, and we have a ball game. The crowd really liked that shot for sure. Oof, love that one back, but hit a good drop, and they were in the point. Probably want that one back. It was a close one. All right. 
sort of had a stalemate here. Someone's going to break out of it. So I would have liked to see Corinne come a little bit further in on that third because they're not taking full swings. I would need them to advance a little bit more into the net, I would think. So like right there, get in a little bit further so that ball's not bouncing at your feet. Mm -hmm. That's just the only thing, and it's tough because don't know if that third's gonna be perfect or they're gonna turn it up. They definitely keep them back. But see how Lee was all the way up there at the kitchen ready for that when Anna's ball came in. Wow, great point. That's big. I mean, we talked about this stalemate. We're going to see what happens. Nope. Oh. Just deep. a bit deep. Quick reset, they're tough. Yeah, that's pretty. It's up on top of that ball, typically not coming back. Great one, too. And it's tough. A lot of times when your player steps in front of you to hit that, you're typically a little bit late to react to that next one, but Corinne got right up to that and put it away. See, again, I would have loved Corinne just another couple feet up further on that one. And it's tough. I know it's a result of the drives from Anna and Lee. But see, that's what can happen when you do. I hope they win this point for the sake of the broadcast. Yeah, great point. Wow. But she was able to be aggressive with her fifth. And I think that that's going to be where they make up a lot of this ground. Yeah, that's too good. Oh. And we have a second time entrant to the fan participation game. She's caught two balls. Dominic Catalano has one ball. She is the winner. Good third and come in. And yes. And then she hits an aggressive dink. That's just some solid dinking. No breakdown there from Lee and no panic. She just kept putting it back on the spot. You know, a few shots ago, you heard Simone say, I got it. Usually when I say that, I don't get the same result as her. Usually I got it means I'm about to hit it into the net or out of bounds. Yeah, it's uh, with my friend, just, I got the next error is essentially what I'm calling <laughs> at that moment. Like, yeah, I got, I got the next unforced error. Yeah. And it's coming in about a second. Yep. It's like a warning to your partner. I'm about to screw up. But for Simone, it means she's got it. Yeah. And we are 9 8 2. 
Business in a game one, gold medal match. Oh, you know, I think if you asked her if you want to have a charging backhand at nine eight two, she'd say yes. Right. And she would have just typically done a smidge better with that, but they're very much in this game. See, that's but that's great. Simone forced Anna to hit a winner from head high cross court with her backhand because she came in on that third. Yep, now Corinne's in Dinkin. Yeah. Great shot. Quick towel break. Here we have 981. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Those are two great reloads after the initial drive, and they've got game one. And I think even though they lost earlier in the winner's bracket, getting a game off them, let them know, hey, I can do this. And now, I mean, Lee's won some big matches. She played in arguably the best match in 19 plus 5-0 women's doubles at um, Nationals. She and Catherine Parenteau beat Irina and... Irina and Lucy, yes, thank you. In a great match, I got to sit front row of the nosebleeds for that match, and it was fantastic. Um, so she knows she can do it, but this is good for, for Anna Lee. I mean, she's played with a lot of good players in, in rec and in some big tournaments, but this is the best doubles team in the world on their home court. So getting that game earlier in the day, is definitely gonna give them some confidence. Yeah, absolutely. They got to play their game for the majority of that. That's all she wrote for game one, but now on to game two. Yeah. We're all human out here, even though these are superstars. They sometimes lose the ball. It is on note that Simone lost the remote control two weeks ago. Another terrible joke from Eddie, I apologize. You know, I, you, you gotta quit blaming those on me. That was all you, <laughs> all you. Well, I did not know that this was gonna be my afternoon job, so uh, <laughs> you're not working with much. When, when the budget is as low as we have here, uh, this is the talent you get. This is the talent you get. We put all the money into the video quality, and so hopefully you guys are enjoying that and muting us. A little bit of breeze. Yeah, and it's getting a little hot here from all that breeze coming through. So, for those of us not playing, it is very nice. I like that too. I like Corinne dinking middle there. Cause if Lee's gonna turn it up, she's gotta, yep. yep. I like it, they can cover that. They can cover that. It's like Lee said, enough of that. I'm gonna hit it. And she did, but Simone and Corinne were able to stay in it. This is just a great point. They're keeping the ball really low. Oh, wow. I mean, you shouldn't be able 
to reach down at your shoelaces on a full extend and hit a top spin roller there like Lee just did. That's a great shot. Tough roll. And again, the brakes are going the water's way. I wish we had a camera to pan around here right now to paint a picture for you guys because everybody is surrounding this match. Their eyes are peeled. Everybody's Joey Farias is glued to the match. He's sitting front row. Yeah. Kyle's walking around supporting people. It's good to see. I mean, they've created a pretty cool atmosphere here. Another let court. There. Oof. That one didn't fall their way. <laughs> A sigh of relief and an exhale from Corinne and Simone. One, two, two. Mm, I don't believe the score is one, two, two. No, no, it probably is. Should be two, two if I haven't know what I'm doing. There you go. You're right once again, Josh. Oh my gosh. That's a great shot. Unbelievable defense. Unbelievable defense. And then another let court. And that's part of the game. Great roll and great sportsmanship continues. Everybody is quick to give a nice shot. One of the many reasons I love the sport. Is because of sportsmanship. And you see I'm it here. with you on that one. Good leave. That was a good leave. there four four one done well to work themselves back into this point. It's tough to beat the waters and you're on the baseline. Simone, great patience. Oh. We turn it up. 4-4-1. Four, four, we said it'd be a tight one, didn't we? Yep. Side out. 
Some good points. Again, another high-level match. Looks like Simone was waiting on that, going for the uh, ATP, and the ball just didn't go yep, far enough out. Yeah, it did not. S saw the ref then take a three-inch scoot back just to make sure the players do have room. I think Simone wishes she was a foot further up on that one. That's number 73 for let courts, those counting at home. <laughs> of the day, not just the match. We have a stat tracker right here. Maybe a bit premature, but since Simone and Corinne did win in the winner's bracket earlier. If they were to win this two out of three match, I'm sorry, if Anna and Lee were to win this two out of three match, we would go to a one game to 15 for the hardware. It is now 6-4-2. Getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but just want to let the friends at home know what was going on. Yeah, beautiful point. People in the audience are either clapping or shaking their head in disbelief. Either way, that struck emotion in people, that's for sure. Yeah, tugging on the heartstrings. 4-6-1. The sun is now behind some trees. It is beautiful out. Oh. The waters are so quick to rip that middle ball. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very impressive. Here are four, six, two. And see that one? They got all the way in right away. A great step by Lee. This, that's just instinct. That's a lot of racket sport time to realize, hey, I can get to that ball and getting out there and doing it. Simone said she'd had enough of that. Yeah, enough of that. But just during that rally, I'm just thinking, how difficult is it to get a ball that the waters aren't going to get back? Especially when they're back there at the back of the court. They are very good. Simone was a little bit different there with the uh, top spin. Roll dink. Just couldn't get that one out wide enough. Yep. pretty good and would you say I feel like players are getting pretty equal amount of balls here everyone's getting a touch maybe a few more of the thirds are going to Simone but she's getting her chances unfortunately I wouldn't consider that to be a chance yep not much you can do about that but tip your hat say way to take advantage of that high ball
Appreciate the kind words there, Webby and Jay. Josh and I are uh, doing what you can to provide some great content to you guys. And technical issues happen sometimes. We appreciate you sticking with Let's us. Let's go to the uh, stat keeper. How many uh, courts is that? Oh, 74th let court of the day. <laughs> yeah. 74. Our stat keeper is unofficial to say at best. <laughs> I don't anticipate him getting any other jobs after this. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to blame Eddie for this one. No. Webby has actually been sending in all the stats. Yeah. Let's see if anything gets mixed up. Five, seven, two. People start dinking cross court. Or keep, eh. See, I saw that one maybe coming, the, the straight on dink, but not the results that they were going for. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. We're giving a prize out if we can get to one hundred <laughs> accords. It'll be an autographed left shoe from your favorite member in the audience. <laughs> She had the open look, it just did not come through for her there. Yep. Scores 5 7. Five, seven. Oh, I think we got ponytail there. I'm not sure. I did get a piece of Mama Waters. Yeah, so we're going a little more the straight on Dinkin and then cross court. An interesting play there. Oh, and that Simone had around the post guarded or Lee could not get all the way around it. So she actually hit back behind Simone, but Corinne covered very well. Both these teams move very well together laterally. Yep, it's too good. Ooh, the lob just along. Eight six. A little bit of a short serve there. Mm. I think we typically don't see her miss. Nine six two. That was good. Held that on the paddle for that last second and flicked it down the middle. Alec Court number 76 in favor of Corinne, but they don't win the point. Time for a run if they're going to make it happen. Yep. 
This is it. This is their chance. Yeah. So just to hold that off and push that down the line, that's a great shot by Lee. Six on the two. I have a guess if we're gonna play a match to 15, the lights will come on. Visibility is still pretty good, but we're back down behind some trees over yonder. She set that up. She knew that that next one was coming. And we got a brief timeout. It's been one heck of a match so far. Whole thing is we're seeing no panic from from either team. Stage isn't too big for young Anna Lee and her mother and Simona and Karen just going about business as usual. They yes. know that they have earned the opportunity to win this in a <sighs> final tie break if that needs to be the case. So they're just gonna play their game. And they can do that better than most. side out so if they want to play another game to 11 it's got to be right now just a little trouble getting that one down from Corinne but she held in there it's a good thing. You don't see these women turn around too much. They stay right in there and take it. And here we have it. 10-6 on the one. That's not the ball yells, Lee Waters. And I tend to agree with her. Um, that was going to be a little bit of a reach and a one-handed stab. I think she would have liked something a little bit higher to go at with two hands. Simone and Corinne just powers that a bit long. And we are going to a tie break game to 15. They call that overtime here. This is no extra charge for any of those involved, spectators and participants. You just get extra pickleball. They're going to give them a five-minute break. Um, so we will rejoin you here in a few minutes. Yeah, should we talk about who has coming home with some hardware today? Oh, first, yeah, Eddie would like to talk about our sponsors. Absolutely, we love our sponsors. Uh, big thanks to Peak Performance Pickleball Academy there, who are who's hosting the event here. We're at their home. Uh, Tyrol for your pickleball shoes. Angle and Volkers, the Phil and Phil team. Uh, Pro-Am Tennis and Pickleball. And Prince Pickleball and Paddle Tech. Thank you very much for, uh, for your sponsorship for this wonderful event. And we can't forget our friends over at Logitech as well. So we thought we had five minutes, but apparently it's up to five minutes. And the teams, yeah, the teams want to get playing, so this show Josh on and I the are road. Our break short, but we're back. 
And just to recap, this is a game to 15 for the gold medal. Gold medal is the top prize of this tournament. There is no platinum. There is no whatever precious metal you are, are into there other than gold. That are more than gold Josh? Uh, no, but I've been talking for a really long time and I'm kind of running out of material. <laughs> so we're just going to talk about random metals for a minute. There's this new concept where you have yeah. five different metals now. Mm -hmm. Eddie actually used to show hogs at the 4-H um, growing up, so he's used to winning ribbons. Um, so this is a little bit different for him, but he has adjusted well and understands the medals very well. <laughs> and we have a side out. Zero, two, one. interesting how far off of the line Annalie Water stands and she'll take that quick step and rip one if she needs to or she'll play a drive off of a ground stroke if she needs to. <coughs> a bit wide there. And we're at 2-2-1. And now we're at three, two, one. And they're not missing by much. That's the biggest thing I've taken away. That points are won by the narrowest margin so far today. You're going to see a lot of fight from our team in orange here, I think. Corinne had to do a little bit of manipulating just to get that one back. Good drive. Two, four, one. Get that ball down and hard with a lot of topspin, making it difficult. <coughs> Just a little bit short. Now we're at four three one. Oh, fan participation number four of the championship court today. Mm, I can't tell who won that. It may have been our own Seth Walker here at High Performance Pickleball. Peak performance, apologies. Let courts number 79 and 80 have taken place in this game already. Oh, 81, say hello. Getting closer to 100, Josh. Yeah, I know there will be a free left-footed shoe auction off here shortly. Great resets. Oh, that was a heck of a point all around. Can't point any fingers as to who won or lost that point. Five three two. Beautiful open forehand dink. Just wide.
732, they will be switching sides with the next point for Team Waters. certainly enjoyed that point uh, as they should have mm, that's a tough one Simone with words of encouragement telling her that's the shot you wanted and you normally make it so keep going for it and she gets it right back Isolating Corinne. Side out. Seven four one. It's a great shot. Great placement on that shot for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Back behind young Annalie. And you can't fault her for that. That shot's been going in most of the day. And with the lead, I like her being aggressive there. Right on the corner. Yeah, pretty impressive. Simone went into beast mode for a second, unfortunately into the net, but she had her opportunity there. Great job deadening that. Yeah, Corinne did beautiful on that point. Very well done. Another one. Oh, just a little bit behind on that. And then we are going to be changing sides. Eight, four, and two, and a changing of sides. As we're changing sides, you know, we had uh, Josh on our podcast a couple of weeks ago. We probably knew everything about him, but at the break, I learned that he used to play competitive guess who as a child. Uh, yeah, I was actually nationally ranked. <laughs> um... 17th in the country. I was number one in the Mid-Atlantic area. Um, unfortunately, with the current climate we are in, with sensitivity to diversity and things of that nature, the game has sort of fallen from grace. So I now play shoots and ladders. Um, but again, have managed to climb the ranks and I'm 73rd in the world. Uh, but shoots and ladders is a little bit more of an international game than the guess who. But yeah, no, there's tons of fun facts coming. Um, and I will continue to share them as I get to know myself and Eddie better. Eddie is a little bit disappointed right now. He feels he lost out on millions as he had the original idea for the squatty potty, um, but could not get it patented in time. Um, but still his family is using it and benefiting it from today. He just does not have millions of dollars. Yeah, 
go. If we have time later, we'll get into the reason for the actual need of the Squatty Potty um, in his life. There's always a problem you're trying to solve with every invention. But back to Pickleball. A great shot up the line by Simone, and she is not going away. And we are at 5 10 2. playing a wonderful game. Eleven five. This is a game to fifteen and the winner gets the gold medal. Eleven five two. Oh. Tough shot. Simone just rolling it underneath Lee's paddle. Wow, 83, maybe? But that one does not fall in. Simone getting a third, and an amazing dig. Oh, wow. Great shot by Annalyn. That point could have given a ton of momentum. They're having their chances. It's just tough for them to finish it off. We'll see if they can hang around. They only got four more points from the finish line for the Waters duo. Beautiful pickup. Mm, Corinne just misses it. Just barely out there. And it's crunch time now. 12, 6, 1. They do very well when the ball is coming with pace and getting it back and in a difficult spot. 13, 6, 1. Half of these shots shouldn't even come back, let alone land softly in the kitchen. Like I'm saying, these points should have ended minutes ago. This is a high level of pickleball. 14-16-1 championship point. Lee Waters, Anna Lee Waters. Correct server has been called. Oh, it's funny. We saw the championship match at the men's end on a drive let court, and we almost just had a carbon copy. But here we have 14 6 2. 
They need to save one point. Oh. Wow. And just long for Corinne Carr. Wow. And that is it. Lee and Anna Lee Waters coming from the loser's bracket, opportunity bracket, to claim victory here in the Women's Pro Peak Performance Pickleball Academy, the Florida Grand Slam. I am done with my color. I will let Eddie give us a wrap up. Let me tell you, on Facebook, I saw somebody post a comment that said, this is intense. And I think that is the best way to explain those matches there. Absolutely intense. Both teams fully in. Uh, the Waters duo, they were just able to take it to them. And now they are gold medalists. It's quite an honor for them uh, to do that, especially with you know Simone being on her home court as well. So absolutely wonderful. Uh, this has been great. I've had a great time today. Big thanks, Josh, for you being able to come and uh, do some commentary with us. Yeah, it was it was a privilege. Um, I do believe that there will be um, additional broadcasts coming from the same spot later tonight. Yes, I did want to mention that we are going to be following up here shortly within the next half hour or so, the Eddie and Webby podcast live from here. We have some special guests. You're not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned. We'll be live streaming both to our Eddie and Webby Facebook page as well as the pickleball forum and YouTube as well. Um, but let's go ahead and give a, a little bit of a breakdown here from everything that took place today. Yes, so for the men's doubles open in bronze, we have, oh, I'm going to screw this name up, Andre Diescu and Alex Moldovan. Uh, silver. Adam Stone and Deckel Barr. Uh, and taking gold for today, none other than Kyle Yates and Joey Farias. And uh, in the women's open doubles for today, bronze, the sister duo, Maggie Rominci and Andrea Coop. In silver, we had Simone Jardim and Corinne Carr. And in gold, the mother-daughter duo, Lee Waters and Anna Lee Waters.